So today, I'm up at Cape and Ray Diving Centre, which is up in Carnforth, and I'm testing out my new underwater camera, the OMTG7. And I'm also going to be testing out the dive filters for my GoPro 11. Cape and Ray is considered to be one of the top 10 dive sites across the UK, according to Red Bull and SSI. It has a max depth of around 22 metres down in the sump, if you really stick your computer in it. It is full of old and donated cars, boats, planes, helicopters that have been donated over the years. And it's also full of fish such as sturgeon, trout, carp and perch, you name it, so there's plenty to see. And there's also a large shallow area of around 6 to 10 metres which is perfect for any training. So this is my new underwater camera setup. So I've still got my GoPro 11 and this is my new OM system TG7 in its housing. And I've also got the Polar Pro dive filters for my GoPro. So here's a map of the quarry and everything that's in it and all the depths. But this is an old map so there's a couple of things that have been moved around and added in. But that's the majority of it. So since Cape and Ray is fresh cold water, it's green rather than blue. So I'll be using the magenta filter to try and bring those colours back to the GoPro. Anyway, onto the first dive. We head straight down to the plane and if you can see in the top left corner of the computer, we're at about 14, 15 metres depth. After the big plane, we go over to the small one on top of the container. Again, we're still at around 14, 15 meters depth. So I try testing out the filter again, I take it off. And when you first take it off, you can instantly see those green colors. But then the GoPro corrects itself, try to bring them back. But again, like I said, I still think it's slightly better with the filter on so. Then we make our way over to the pod snap had a big sturgeon swimming past us, which was a great chance to test out my new camera, see what it's actually capable of, the quality of it. After the pod snap and the African Queen, we make our way back over to the big plane and then start to shallow up to around 5-6 metres for our safety stop. Before we got in, Stuart went and bought some fish food from the shop, so we ended up spending our safety stop feeding these big fat trout. Like I said, we're only at about 6 metres depth here doing our safety stop, so I test out the dive filter again, and like the other tests, when I first take it off, everything appears a greenish colour, a greenish tint, but the GoPro software slowly starts to correct those colours and bring them back, whereas when the dive filter's on, it doesn't need to do that. So, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the deeper down in water you go, the more and more you start to lose colours and since this is cold fresh water everything starts to appear 
a greenish colour and have a greenish tint to it which is why I'm using the magenta filter which is designed to bring all those colours back rather than everything just looking green. Then on to the second dive of the day, where we plan to go to both of the helicopters, the Ted Tandy, which is the newest addition to the quarry, then to the diving bell, and back over to the shallow areas to do our safety stop. Oh, and I did forget to mention that every time we change depths, I manually set the white balance on the camera on the TG7, so all the pictures that I took should be correctly white balanced. So here we are at Heli 1, like you just saw, it's at about 10 meters depth. And we swim through this, get a few pictures, and then over to Heli 2. Oh. successfully navigated over to Heli 2. Now this actually turned out to be the best test with the filter on the GoPro. So this is with the filter on as you can see so it's done a pretty good job of bringing the colours back and this is at about 16 meters depth. So I've tapped the filter off and it's green like it is on previous tests instantly but the GoPro doesn't seem to be correcting the colours itself so this did turn out to be the best test for the filter and proves that it is worth having on. This is the Ted Tandy, and Stuart actually told me that this gnome on the front of it uh, used to belong in his mum's garden, which I guess is quite nice to see every nice every time he comes diving in. Um, so yeah, I test out the uh, dive filter again, but like most of my tests, the GoPro manages to correct the colours quite well itself. But after the test on Heli 2, I do think it's worth having the dive filter on, just for them times that the GoPro doesn't manage to correct the colours itself. And I do think with the filter on, it is slightly better.
Lastly, to finish off, we swim past the diving bell before making our way back, which is at around 11 meters depth. So I decided to test out the dive filter for the very last time. And this seems to be the only other test with the one on Heli 2, where the GoPro doesn't manage to correct the colors itself, which I guess proves that it is worth having on. Anyway, what a fun, productive day of diving.